Now, this is the kind of stuff I could not make up, okay? The pinder is the head of the cabal. That's the name of the top person in the 13 bloodlines. And that's what we're now calling Illuminati, would be these 13 bloodlines, the houses. What does pinder actually mean? It's pretty weird. It means the pinnacle of the Draco, i.e., the number one representative on Earth of the Draco. It also means the penis of the dragon. Now, please, Foot, don't go doing that again. The current pinder, the leader of the Illuminati, now we're being told, is the Rothschild family. So we don't need to look any farther than that. The only guys above the Rothschilds here on Earth would be these old ones and the family masters and the trustees. But then the pinder, of course, is the Rothschild. So that's why that name is so prominent. Now, here's the funny thing. The good guy ETs have come back recently. And I don't know why we got a little, oh, that went away. Good. We had a little feedback. They have been betrayed by the Draco. This just happened in, in the last month. The Draco has been cornered, and there's something that's been created around our solar system called the barrier. And all the Draco that are inside our solar system cannot get out. And they are afraid of whatever this arrest scenario is going to be because they will be held on trial as responsible for these crimes against humanity that they've perpetrated. They do not want this to happen, and they tried to strike a deal with the positive being saying, if you let us go, we will offer everybody below our own royal caste in surrender to you to the alliance. That means the royals are only these 12 to 14 foot tall reptilians. That means they were going to betray the old ones, all of their supplicants who have done this vampire-type process to gain immortality. That means all the 13 bloodlines. That means a committee of 300, all the top Illuminati, everybody human 